And welcome back to Reliance Stadium. Don Crickey with Steve Tasker, the home opener for the Texans. They've not played here since August 20th when they played the Raiders in a preseason game. So they're really looking to get back on home turf and get it going. Hit this Texan defense with big plays early. They might be on the run. Parker. He's still got it. Willie Parker all the way out across the 35 yard line and out close to the 36. So he breaks a 15 yard run on the first carry of the day. 18 yards are giving him. Roethlisberger has gone to Parker in every down so far. His first throw of the day. That's beautifully timed. And on the far side, Antoine Randall L. Knocked out of bounds by Dante Robinson. But again, the Steelers strike with a big play. It's not a question of talent on the team. It's a question of confidence right now. They need some big plays. Here is a Roethlisberger. They don't want him running. And Big Ben has been told not to. And there's a terrific play by Roethlisberger. Dodging the rush. Makes a great living. He's very compelling to watch. He can run all over the football field. This is what an NFL quarterback really is supposed to do. Buy him some time. He's just buy himself some time. Get some time. And he did it with a bad knee. Well, he's two for two throwing the ball for 21 yards. Second and nine. This guy can play football. Willie Parker's down to the 21 yard line. He breaks it ahead for a gain of 14 yards and a first down. This is a 37 yard field goal attempt now. Gardaki holds. And it's knocked up and through. So the Steelers get points off the opening drive of the game. A 37 yard field goal by Jeff Reed. He's now set a steel re Steeler record with a 20th consecutive field goal made. Now it's third and six. David Carr on the rollout. Carr loses the ball. And the Steelers think they have it. And so, most importantly, does Vinovich. Worst case scenario, unless they ran this in for a touchdown, Carr tries to swim underneath Hagens. Hagens gets his hands up, knocks the ball out, and it bounces right into the hands of Joey Porter. And Willie Parker, Steve, is averaging a seven and a half yards a rush today. Six carries, 45 yards. Roethlisberger, play fakes, makes the throw, and Heinz Ward goes in. Turnover. Well, Heinz Ward comes out, and you'll see as he gets open, there's a pump fake by Roethlisberger. And you see the defensive back jump in there. Buchanan jumps the pump fake. Heinz Ward slides to the outside and traipses into the end zone. Play fake by Roethlisberger. Throw to the near sideline. Beautifully done as he hits Heinz Ward, the touchdown man earlier. Buchanan knocks him out of bounds, but the Steelers with a beautifully timed pattern, good for a 15-yard gain. He told us yesterday, Steve, he and the coaches weren't on the same page. Here is Roethlisberger, long ball. Man, these guys are good. Perfectly timed. Cedric Wilson comes down with the ball. Buchanan, who is supposed to be a shutdown corner, is victimized again on a 36-yard pass play. It looked almost as though Cedric Wilson stepped on the out-of-bounds line. This is going to be very close. Watch as he extends for the football. Hard to tell there. It's a great catch and a great throw by Roethlisberger to be that patient in the pocket. Well, we're waiting to see that today, though. The Steelers took it right in on the 16-yard pass to Heinz Ward. Last time they were down close. Roethlisberger rolling out. Sidearms the ball right to an open receiver, and again they gash the Texans' defense. It's first and goal inside the five. Heinz Ward with another big play. This one good for a gain of 20 yards. They had guys standing right next to each other with the receivers left alone. You see, all all the defenders are outside the hash marks, and the receiver slides inside. That was a miscommunication deep. All the defenders watched Roethlisberger lost sight of the receiver and left it wide open. Well, the Steelers thriving in it. First down, they're charging ahead again with a 10-0 lead. Roethlisberger, timing throw. Man, they're good. Another touchdown. Heinz Ward. He leaves the receiving corn. Watch this catch. This just looks too easy. I'm sorry. It's a great catch by Ward, but Ben Roethlisberger dropped back and he's throwing it like it was practice. As Ben Roethlisberger has hit 8 of 11 for 135 yards and two touchdowns. Here is the kickoff 
Downfield and Morenci takes it from two yards deep in the end zone. And uh, he's taken down at the 18 yard line. Yeah well he did indeed come back quickly. And now the uh, rolled out by Carr looking downfield he can side on the ball and he wisely bails out. As the heat was coming Joey Porter was coming full speed ahead and. First down for David Carr. They do have one turnover today. To their credit the Steeler defense knocking the ball away from Carr. Davis runs again this time Clark Hagan's outside backer stops him. Here come the blitzers. Carr stands in. Hey okay, these Steelers when they come after you they come fast. And no sooner said Steve than they're out of field goal range. Yeah and you see here is David Carr brings the ball down he doesn't even have chance to bring it down and find room. There's only five guys rushing you should, five. you should find somebody down the field who can get open but Carr as the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers have the ball first down and ten leading 17 nothing Roethlisberger play fakes he gets time and they protect him there's a long ball Randall Allen is out there and he has it. The home run hitter from Indiana Antoine Randall Allen with a 63 yard touchdown pass play last week. Ben Roethlisberger could have laid down and taken a nap in the pocket as Randall Ale doesn't make a move until he's 20 yards down the field and Roethlisberger lays it out he jumps up extends and Robinson can't recover in time to defend the play it's huge play once again for the Steelers up to that point Ben Roethlisberger was eight for eleven with two touchdowns. Got another one. He's up to 21 in a row, extending his own record. Then your most successful set, four wide receivers. Car again. From behind, here comes the heat. He eludes it. Got away from Porter and does the right thing. Gets out of bounds as a couple of Steelers show up in ill humor. Ricardo Coakley. Well, that would go down as a sack as well as a yeah. two-yard loss. Now the pressure builds as he's got a third down and 11 against this blitzing Steeler defense. This time the blitzer comes from the far side. And down he goes as uh, Ike Taylor getting a start today. And a third-year player from Louisiana Lafayette starting for the end. Happy to have him. They've hit him for two deep passes. And they've silenced those question marks in a big hurry this season. The ball is hit downfield and hit very well by Chad Stanley. Randall L with a load of moves in the sideline. Dick LeBeau one of the most respected guys in the National Football League. Here's a blitzer it's Palomalo. David Carr is thrown down like a small child by the 210 pound Troy Palomalu. Yet another sack of Carr. Paul Amalu right in front of you number 43 comes in Dominic Davis tries to push him out and David Carr steps into the block as Davis pushes Paul Amalu to the outside David Dominic Carr. Davis is not picking up blitzes this year he missed one at Buffalo the result in the sack Randall Allen motion he's been dangerous all day they're flooding deep patterns Roethlisberger buys time with his feet home run ball Cedric Wilson makes the catch at the 24 yard line. Unbelievable. Being able to get a hand on it. And Wilson pulls it in for a 40 yard gain. And just when the Texans had the Steelers fourth and one, they get the penalty. The play comes back and they convert a 40 yard first down. Yards. Averaging 38 yards a catch. Roethlisberger a nicely timed throw to Kreider. Well here's an underrated guy Dan Kreider the lead blocker a hammer at fullback. To find his receiver and all that is lost on that. Just because he completed that pass. And look at Parker rock it in a trap block up the middle springs him. And he just blasts through and the Steelers are quickly in the end zone and how huge that penalty was. The touchdown drive of their own. Willie Parker right here the missed tackle and that's all it takes. Buchanan acted like he wanted no part of Willie Parker. He barely if it had been two hand touch Willie Parker wouldn't have been tackled either. And he shouldn't be. Now Carr comes out throwing uh, throw in the flat. 
And the Steelers are all over it. It is a completion, but uh, not for much. Andre Johnson takes it in. He's going to hold the one with a lot of rap. He's a very quiet, uh, polite, very, nice guy. Very quiet, very humble. It is one of his teammates. Uh, says Chris Hope. He's the Tasmanian devil once he gets on the field. You see there that once again, Don, the, or the Texans come out. And they were indeed, Steve, looking to make a, a major jump up and contend for a playoff spot. Here's Carr. And Palomalo with his third sack of the day. The Texans continue to struggle for very much longer. You can see changes coming on the horizon for this organization. Third down arises, needing five. David Carr, another sack. They've been nailing him all day long. It's the eighth sack. Now for Steve Tasker, this is.